Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast, and as we look ahead, our fast cast, your forecast in a flash, and there'll be some scattered flurries left over. I think there'll be an opportunity for some breaks of sun. Any steadier snows, probably going to be to our east. The worst, the best chance for an inch might be the Route 12 and 28 corridor from about Binghamton to Norwich up towards Boonville and Utica and over to Old Forge. Elsewhere, it's just cold. We're going to be in the single digits to near 10 this morning and around 17 this afternoon. As we take a look at what to expect, yes, we, as expected, saw some snow yesterday afternoon and last night, ranging from almost nothing from Verona Beach North to about one to three inches in the greater Syracuse area to as much as four to eight inches from Auburn to Tully and some southern areas. Well, the actual blizzard part, which is happening right now, is bypassing us well to our east and southeast as expected. Our next system to produce notable accumulating snow that comes our way later Thursday into Thursday night. Now I say notable. Let's put that as a caveat. Do you think two to four inches is notable? Eh, not really, but I mean, it's still something you had to shovel. So we're probably going to get two to four inches Thursday night with some additional accumulations on Friday. Speaking of Friday, it's a fi frigid finish to not only this week, but this month, well, considering that January ends on Saturday. Temperatures start at 25 Friday morning, dropping through the teens and very cold around here Friday night, Saturday and Saturday night. While the blizzard rages in Boston and in eastern New England, here in central New York, clouds, breaks of sun, maybe some flurries, a little bit of backwash moisture. You can see it right here. This is the Route 12 corridor. You can see just a little bit of snow over there. That's why there's an opportunity of an inch of snow right where my hand is. Yeah, we might get some flurries off of Lake Ontario, but I really doubt any additional accumulations will be worse than a dusting or coating, and that should be about it. Overnight tonight, still some leftover clouds and flurries, and temperatures backing up into the 5 to 10 range for a low. Morning clouds and flurries giving way to increasing sunshine, and you can see that behind me. Overall, Wednesday is a decent day skywise, but, you know, I mean, it's still chilly and below normal, but what else is new, right? Wednesday night, partly cloudy. On Thursday, a brief snow shower possible mid-morning right there, and then steadier snows sunset into Thursday night, and that's where two to four inches of snow will be likely Thursday night. Total sunshine today, 25%, 66% sunshine expected on Wednesday, and we're looking for 25% sunshine on Thursday. Precipitation probability, the chance of getting more than one inch of snow is 20% for most of, most of central New York, so it is unlikely to happen. Well, there will be some flurries, though, Maybe some flurries tomorrow morning. Again, we mentioned that two to four inches of snow Thursday night. The threat is about 75%. And then with a blustery northwesterly wind, there's likely to be some additional snow showers and flurries. And after that, we got to keep an eye on another southern storm Sunday night and then exiting Monday. That one could bear watching too. So by far, the highlight of our forecast is except for Thursday afternoon and Thursday night into early Friday morning, except for that period I just mentioned, all of the temperatures you see are below normal, and some of them are well below normal. In fact, I would say we haven't had a January thaw, right? Well, it's because it's been very cold almost the entire month. I suppose the best part of the month was the first five days. But otherwise, we're probably going to average, when we take all these numbers together, six degrees below normal for the month of January. And while it's not in the top five coldest, it is certainly well below normal. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. If you have any friends or family that are in the worst of the blizzard, post pictures on our Twitter or at Facebook, CNY Central. Have a great day.